What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another fig hack for you guys. The first fig hack we had, we posted a while back, and it was the Chris Jericho entrance jacket fig hack where we took his Lost Legends jacket and we chopped off the sleeves to show you guys how to make an updated entrance vest for your Chris Jericho Elite. And today I'm going to show you how to make this Elite 53 Kevin Owens figure and how to turn it into the ultimate accurate Kevin Owens Elite figure. And you can actually do this with any Kevin Owens Elite matter of fact. So that is the good thing about this hack. You do not need the Elite 53, but you do need a Elite uh, Kevin Owens, but I bet you're wondering why we have these three figures or fodder pieces laying in the or laying right here And that is because we're gonna take the Eric Rowan and we're gonna use the upper arms from it right here And then with the edge little fodder body right here. We're gonna take the kick pads off of uh, This edge and then for the John Cena piece back here We're gonna take the lower knees from that and that all that combined will make the ultimate Kevin Owens figure. So let's go ahead and get straight into the steps to make this happen. All right guys, so getting into the things you will need for this fig hat, of course, you need to have a heat source. So right here we have a hair dryer. Obviously, this is what we will use for our heat source to uh, heat up the parts, to switch them and all that good jazz. Um, right here, this is acetone. You may not need this 100% um, acetone nail polish remover. The reason I have this is because um, I will need to take the logo off of these kick pads, off this edge figure right here. So if you have kick pads like Shawn Michaels kick pads or any kick pads that have paint on them and you want to remove it so they're plain black like Kevin Owens wears, you will need some 100% uh, acetone nail polish remover. That way it will come off easily. All you do is dip your rag in there and then slide it right off or whatever. But anyways, to get the accurate arms we will need for the Kevin Owens fix-up, you will need an Eric Rowan or Luke Harper. I believe that is what it is. I don't know if basic arms work, but I do know that the elite arms work. It's like the way these are molded, they're way better, they're way more accurate than the massive Kevin Owens arms they give us on the elites. So you will need some sort of either Luke Harper or Eric Rowan upper arms. I believe elite um, is the only way to get them. And then for the other part we will need is the lower knees of an uh, more modern looking John Cena Elite. So this lower knee part right here is what you will need and um, that is all the parts we will need but I'm going to take you step by step through how to do this and we will continue on. Alright guys so starting out first what we're going to do is take our Eric Rowan Elite right here and go ahead and heat these arms up so that we can pop them off. So that should be long enough. It should pop straight off. And sweet baby Jesus. Okay, so the hand pulled out, but the arm. Good God Almighty. Finally, Jesus Christ, we finally got the arm off. I don't know why in God's name it took that long, but now we will heat up the other arm. All right, that should be long enough. Hopefully this arm comes off way easier than the other one. And... All right, I got that one off. Jesus Lord, I don't know why. The Eric Rowan, I guess, elite arms just do not want to come off his body. But there he is. Finally, Jesus Christ. I cannot get over how tough that was. But anyways, let's go ahead and heat up our Kevin Owens arms now. Um, back to some positivity. That should be long enough. Holy Christ, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my hair dryer or what, but these, like, it's like it's just not getting hot enough or something and it's not popping off easily. Oh my God in heaven. Ah, Jesus. My God. I do not understand why both of these figures are so hard to take their arms off, but anyways, get into the other arm. Alright, that should be long enough. Oh my Christ. And bam, there we go. 
All right, so now that we have both of the arms off of both the figures, what we're gonna have to do now is attempt to heat up this again and remove the lower arm from the Eric Rowan arm. So what we're gonna do is hold both of these together and heat them up. Be careful when you're doing this so you don't burn the dog poo out of your fingers. All right, let's see if this is hot enough. And what we're gonna do is just like this. And no, it's not even close. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe my hair dryer just sucks ball sack and it will not get it loose enough. Alrighty then. Maybe it is good enough now. So yeah, just like that, you'll pop off both of the sides. And it should come off just like that. So now that this lower arm is detached, we can throw it over there. Hold on to that bicep right there. And now you will have to repeat with this arm. All right, should be good enough there. And yep, pops off there. And Jesus Christ, it's hot AF. All righty, should pop off the other side. Ah, yeah, that's on fire, but we got it off finally. So other lower arm right there can throw it off to the side. And now we have to repeat the same process with the Kevin Owens arms to get the upper arms off of these uh, lower arms. All right, that should be good. My fingers are on fire. Good God almighty. It's like they just don't budge. Like you have to heat the piss out of these things. So make sure it honestly would probably be better if you used hot water, like if you boiled water. But um, yeah, I don't want to go to the kitchen to have to film this. So yeah, it looks like we're heating it up longer. Jesus Christ. All right, guys, here we go. We have heated up the arms. Ah! So hot, so hot, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All right, finally got that off. And the other one, ah. All right, we got that one. And now for the other, good God, it's on fire. Can't even hold it, it's like hot potato, like the women's championship and the tag team championship on SmackDown. But there we go, finally got it. Oh my God. All right. All right, finally got that. Now what you want to do is take your biceps from the Eric Rowan that we got right here, and I believe this is the left one. Yeah, make sure that it is the left one and not the right, and you're going to plug that in right there between the peg and the hole. Just like so. And then line that hole up with that one. You may have to reheat it. That way it'll, you know, want to poke through. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that right there for now. And we're going to go get the other bicep. Go ahead and poke that peg out right there. That way um, you use the bigger peg. And then make sure that it is the, you know, the right side. You don't want to put it in there the wrong way. And get that through the hole right there. And then you're going to want to heat up the arms again. So you want to heat up the arms again. That way they will press together easier. Alright guys, so here are the arms finally done after that long AF process. Did not expect it to take that long, but they should be warm enough to just pop right on there. And yes, they do pop straight on there. And yeah, these arms look a lot better than those jacked arms that, you know, Mattel gives us every time with the Kevin Owens elites. But, um... That is just one part of the Kevin Owens uh, ultimate fix-up right here. There is a bit of damage on this arm, as you see right there. But I think I can sand and fix that. Um, that is unfortunate. However, I will be fixing it. But now we will move on to the next step of the process. And that will be 
to remove the lower knees from this John Cena Elite right here. So that's what we're going to do now. And to do that, all you have to do is get all this trash out of your way so that you have a workspace. And then take your hair dryer and heat up this part right here. Alright guys, so this is what it should look like when you get the lower knees off of the John Cena. It does have L and R on the top, so you will not get confused, but make sure you do not put them on backwards when you put them on. And I went ahead and got the pegs out because I do not know if you will need these or if the Kevin Owens ones will work. But now that we have the John Cena ones done, we got to go ahead and heat up the lower legs of the Kevin Owens figure. So that's what we're going to do next. Alright guys, now we have Kevin Owens' lower knees off of his body. We can go ahead and put the John Cena ones onto him, but we will obviously, now that they are uh, hard again, we will go ahead and have to heat those up so we can move on with this Ultimate Kevin Owens. Alright, I have heated up Cena's lower knees and I gotta make sure that I put these on the right way. So I am looking at this Cena for reference. And it looks like they go on like this. And this is the left knee. So we will go right here. So what I'm gonna have to do is go ahead and just place this on there. And then I guess reheat it and then try to push it on there because it is just not having it. Alright guys, finally, after just excruciating heat and just pain on my thumbs, just, my god, my thumbs are just, they've had it, but I finally got those things on there. So now we can finally move on to another step, which is getting the kick pads off of this edge figure right here, and then we will remove the decals. So let's go ahead and get the hair dryer right here and heat up this and pop them off. So now that we have the kick pads removed from the Edge Elite body, what we're going to do now is take our acetone right here and our cloth and we're going to dip it in here and then just wipe off the logo. It's very, very easy and simple. You don't want the acetone or whatever to sit on there very long because if you do, it will uh, damage the plastic. So it's very, very easy and simple, but you don't want to make a mess of it. So you just want to take like a little, uh, I usually just stick a finger in there, tilt it till it gets wet, take the logo just like this, and then as you see, it literally wipes right off like a magic eraser, just like that. And then what you will do is take the other one and do the same thing on that side. And there we go. Both kick pads are completely blank now. And we can finally assemble our Kevin Owens Elite. There's one kick pad. And there is the other kick pad. So bam, there we go. We now have a completed, a completed ultimate Kevin Owens fix up as you see now it is completely accurate from head to toe um, now this figure looks amazing I absolutely love it now everything about it is great I love the arm size way more accurate um, the kick pads as you see here are more accurate now they do not um, go down to here which is how Mattel thinks it should be um, this is the way he looks and if I can I'll bring up a picture as you saw in the Kevin Owens review um, you should see a picture right here that shows um, the correct height of the kick pads. But I am digging the way this looks. I'm sorry that this video was probably a little bit um, unorganized. I feel like um, we ran into a few impasses because of the uh, different processes and the heating it up and not wanting to um, go together and stuff like that. But that is going to do it for this uh, for this fig hat, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now we have the Universal Championship right here that we can throw on Kevin Owens. But thank you guys so much for watching, and subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.